tell us about electronic correlations in the normal state of twisted bilayer graphene. Thank you. Now, now it's okay. Uh, so thanks once again, the organizers, for the um, opportunity uh, to be here and to uh, and to talk to you about the work that uh, that we are doing. Uh, so well, uh, as yesterday, the work that I'm going to present has been done in collaboration with Maria Jose Calderon and Frida Tan with Alberto Camhagi, and I also want to uh, thank. Uh, Marcelo, Marcello, uh, Carol, and, and Eduardo for very useful uh, conversation at the beginning of this work. Uh, so today I'm going to focus, yesterday I introduced uh, the twist by layer graphene, uh, and today I'm going to focus on the correlations on this system um, uh, studied from a theoretical point of view. Uh, so the first thing that I will just uh, remind you, um, a, a few of the motivation and a couple of details, and then I will go that uh, yesterday I introduced, and then I will go um, uh, to the, uh, the calculations. Uh, so well, um, as I told you yesterday, our system is we have two graphene layers, and we have, we rotate them just uh, uh, one degree, in fact. Uh, so when we do that, we have this more structure, so this very large uh, unit cell. Uh, so what this means is that we are going to have a mini virulent zone, so our unit cell is very large, okay? And so you can see here, these are the, uh, the virulent zones of the two layers, so we rotate them slightly, and then, so here we have uh, uh, these mini virulent zones. Because in graphene we have two K points, and so we really have two K points in each of the uh, layers, so we have what we call the two valleys, okay? So we, we are going to have a mini Brillouin zone associated to each of these valleys, and we can consider, because this angle is very small, we can consider that these valleys are um, uncoupled. And these valleys are, in fact, related by uh, time reversal symmetry. So the energies of one of the valleys, except if we break the symmetry, are um, related to the energy in, in the other valley. Uh, so as I mentioned yesterday, uh, so it, for this particular uh, angle around one degree. Uh, so, okay, so then when we have this mini virulent zone, what we are doing is we are folding all these bands and we are opening gaps at the, at the new uh, edge of the virulent zone, at the new border. And so we, we have all these bands which are associated to this folding. And then the, we have very low, very flat bands here close to the Fermi level. And so we, we say that the, the, the angle is magic when we have, when these bands are, are flatter. Um, so, uh, so you can see here, uh, this is uh, this type of bands, as I mentioned yesterday, so these gaps, uh, so we are not in the original system, these are associated to having some relaxation, but we know that experimentally they are there. So these bands are, of course, um, uh, uh, sensitive to some small details that we can change in the modeling of the system. So, okay, so then we have you see here that we have two flat bands, so in total we are going to have four flat bands, two per valley, and we have this, uh, we have this time reversal symmetry between the two valleys, but you can see also, if you see the system, that there is an approximate, uh, well, in fact, it's, it's a bit di different. It's, there is an approximate particle hole symmetry that here, in fact, it's not A of K, A of, um, so, uh, okay, so I have written this wrong. Uh, so, okay, so we relate the energy of the M band with the energy of the minus M band. So here there's a minus uh, at K and minus K. This is approximate symmetry, okay? Uh, okay, and so as I mentioned yesterday, so well, a lot of uh, interesting uh, states are being, co observed in, are being observed in this system, sorry. Uh, originally, uh, it was observed that the system uh, was a correlated insulator when this band was at half filling and this one it was at half filling. So as I say, we can dope up to four electrons and up to four holes, and we are going to measure all the time the filling or the doping, let's say, with respect to this charge neutrality point, okay? So with respect to here. And then, so originally, 
it was found to, uh, to correlate the states, then a bit after we had correlated the states at all the integer fillings and more superconductivity that this had been found at the beginning. And now we have, well, a bunch of uh, states of many different kind of correlated states at many uh, fillings. And you can see that, so while the, the results are reproducible, there is sample sensitivity that it's still not under control, okay? And for example, as I mentioned yesterday, for example, you can see that uh, the, the, the state that was at the beginning the strongest, so for example, in this sample, it, it is not, okay? So, um, so um, then in general, later when I discuss the physics, uh, so far I'm not going to try to pinpoint a very exact uh, uh, experiment, but I'm going to try to see what is the kind of generic physics that we can expect. And as I also mentioned, so it's not only that we have this uh, correlated state, but also is that even in the uh, metallic state, we have, um, we see that correlations are important, so there are a lot of things going on, like uh, uh, this uh, linear in T behavior that in fact is not uh, restricted uh, in, in some specific sample is not restricted to a very small range of filling, but it can be found for a large range of filling, what this has been called the continuous criticality. But uh, so it's, it, it, it was called like that. So, okay, let's say that you, you find this, uh, this linearity in, in some large range, and you also find that the density of states depend on doping. So the type of uh, question that I'm going to address here is, uh, whether we expect that mod physics is going to be important here, just as something, just as um, uh, mo physics that really modifies our really normal state, and what type of effect is what we can uh, find. Uh, so, okay, 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 so, okay, so uh, then in order to study a system, as I said yesterday, we can have. Um, whether a description uh, atomistic, looking at all, introducing uh, uh, explicitly each of the atoms, we can do um, uh, modeling K space, but so for looking at, at mod physics, what it looks uh, um, more kind of simpler, it's, or, or it's to do a kind of binary function model thinking on, on the um, uh, effective water orbitals, okay? So trying to, to think in our big unit cell as, as itself. Now, this issue in this particular system in twist by layer graphene, how, whether we can model the system with uh, banner functions and which model have to be used is extremely controversial. It has been controversial for already for years and there is still discussion on what can be done or not and what's enough, okay? And this is associated to which are the symmetries in the problem and how is the topology. So in, when we look at the problem, and is, you can see, for example, is, um, so for example, the question is when you want to do this model, you could say, okay, how many, you here have a lot of bands, how many bands do we have to introduce in our system, whether we can just keep the, the two lower, the two uh, flat bands, or we have to include more. Uh, so where are center, uh, the uh, effective orbitals that we are going to introduce, and you can see here that we, in the, the system, we have three different lattices. We have a triangular lattice, we have a honeycomb lattice, and we also have here in between, we have a Kagome lattice, and also which is the symmetry of the orbitals. Uh, so I'm not going to enter into that, but somehow what we, th so at the beginning, people try to, uh, to, to look, to include only the flat bands, okay? So yesterday, for example, if you remember, when I was, when I was discussing the, the three layer on bottom right right, I was only including the lowest band and just saying, okay, it's, I can consider this as an orbital. Um, so now, uh, so, well, due to, again, these symmetries, so I think that now most of the people in general, probably all of the people agree that this is not a good description of the system. Even if you try to do this kind of description, the, the type of wave functions that you get and the type of interaction that you get are really, really complex and, and probably not the best used to, uh, to study mod physics in there. Uh, so, uh, so the model that I'm going to use is a model that uh, has eight bands per valley. Okay, so it means that we have 16 bands in total. Um, 
And in fact, this model, so people has, has tried different models. And in fact, this model is in terms of Banner functions, uh, the one that uh, there are having some other proposals, but the one that, that keeps the a smaller number of bands while not breaking heavily this uh, particle hole symmetry, okay? So somehow there is people who have tried to introduce only uh, the part, part of the band here, only the part of the band here, but I think this, this really keeps uh, spurious and, and effects and wrong effects. And so this is the one that it has a smaller, okay? Now, in this model that I'm going to use, it's of course a very complicated model, so in each valley, you can see that we have uh, in fact, uh, so this was proposed by the group at Harvard. So, um, uh, so we have uh, orbitals which are at the three lattices. So we have orbitals which are at the triangular lattice, at the Kagome lattice, and at the uh, honeycomb lattice. And these uh, orbitals have different symmetries, which this, okay, so this, this was proposed in order to respect the symmetries of the, um, of the system, of the emergent symmetries. Uh, so, and in fact, what you can see is that this is not really normally in Banner models, so this, this, this is gap here, here, so this is not really, so some, but somehow this is something which is far from the Fermi level, so we think it's, it's not going to be much important, okay? Now, in this very complicated model from the very beginning, we can see that there are some orbitals that are playing a, a special role. And in particular, these are these these orbitals that I'll, uh, I call AAP plus, and what well, is AAP plus minus. And what we can see, so these are uh, at the uh, center, uh, uh, so they, they are centered at the triangular lattice, okay? Uh, and the, I call them P plus, P minus, because they have P symmetry, P plus and P minus symmetry. And, and they are special because you can see that we, we can, so most of the flat bands are accounted by these orbitals, okay? So they are the ones that we believe that are, so to, that it's expected to give more importance. But what is important is, is that they really cannot give all the band, okay? So you, here, they, they are giving most of the weight except here at gamma, where we have weight of the other orbitals, okay? So there's going, these orbitals are coupled to the, uh, to the other ones. And this, this coupling is important to, uh, to reproduce this, this type of uh, gaps and this type of um, uh, band structure that we have here, okay? So uh, we have in total four of these orbitals, uh, two in, uh, once again, two in each, in each body. Uh, so uh, a couple of years ago, we calculated the interaction in this model, and of course we have here uh, a lot of uh, orbital, so this means that we have a lot of interactions, okay? So in general in this, uh, in graphene, so except if there is some kind of extra screening that is coming from somewhere, so we have, we have a one over our uh, low, so it's not that we just can start from uh, our interaction, so uh, a gate can reduce a bit the uh, screening, but what you can see is that, okay, we have a lot of interactions which are all the, these orbitals interact with, with each other. So uh, as a function of a distance in general, they, they um, uh, reproduce the interaction that it comes from the uh, electron in the carbon atom. So if it's one over R, it's one over R. If it's a screen, this will be reduced. And then I want that you also focus on what I call the on-site interaction. So these are the, uh, the interaction uh, between the electrons which are in the, in the same uh, place. So, so here we have, uh, this is for the AA orbitals, both intraorbital and interorbital, because, so they are equal because they are in the same place. And then, um, uh, but also it's, each of them has its own interaction. So you can see that there are pretty large interactions. So I'm doing this for uh, dielectric constant 12, which is the one that we got uh, comparing from with some atomic, some calculations uh, which are atomistic calculations. So I think this, this could be reasonable, but somehow there is, um, there is a wide uh, uh, range of values in the literature, okay? Uh, so when you calculate the interaction, there are also some exchange, inter, intersite exchange and Hund's interactions. They are small, so these ones I'm going to neglect them. So uh, this, this system, it's already complicated, so it's, it's already given some effect, even if we just do a hard-free approximation. Okay, you can see, so normally in many systems, the, we, if we treat the interactions at the Hartree level, for example, in the system I was considering 
uh, yesterday, so you just uh, move the, um, the chemical potential. So you can include the effect as, as a change in the chemical potential. Uh, so but here, uh, what you can see is that this is a system without doping. So here I'm focusing, sorry, is that I'm not saying, I'm going to be focusing now all the time in this low energy part, okay, to show the figures. Uh, but now if we dope with holes or if we dope with electrodes, you can see this is just her tree approximation and you can see that this uh, changes. Uh, so uh, the reason is that, uh, so somehow is that when we are adding the, the electrons here, so, uh, so we are, um, so, so, so the, let's say the charge distribution when we dope the system, it's inhomogeneous. So if we add the electrons to, to let's say, these AAP orbitals, so they are, the, 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 the interaction in, in, in this electrons is the largest and this part increases with respect to the other orbitals, okay? So there is, there is uh, already some, some effect. Now, of course, we would like to do something better than just uh, Hartree uh, interactions. And so, but of course, we cannot, for example, come with the MFT and try to treat all these, these, these interactions. Uh, so what we are doing, okay, so, uh, but then, of course, as I said, this, this, uh, not all the orbitals are equally important here. These AP orbitals are especially important here for two reasons. One is that they are at the flag band, so it's the Fermi level, but also you can see if we look at the density of states, of these AAP orbitals, the, the orbital resolve density of states, this is not interacting, so it's very, very narrow. So these are the orbitals in which we expect that the interactions are going to be particularly important, in particular the mode interaction, the, the strong correlations, while the other ones, they are more, so somehow they, they, they are interacting, but, but we expect less, less uh, let's say, mode physics, so not so much reorganization. Uh, so then this gives us a, it's a kind of effective model in which we distinguish the two kind of orbitals. So the, these AP orbitals are going to be more strongly correlated and we have four of them, which are, let's call them equivalent in the sense that there are, uh, the bandwidth is, is the same. And then we have two other orbitals which are less correlated. Uh, now, that does not mean, uh, and so somehow this is, and all these orbitals are, are coupled, and so this is giving us a kind of very complicated heavy fermion-like uh, model for, for twist by layer graphene, in which the, the, the strongly correlated and the turnaround orbitals are hybridized. Uh, of course, even if these uh, uh, orbitals are less correlated, that does not mean that I can uh, throw away uh, all the interactions so these other interactions, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce these other interactions in the calculation at a different level. So I'm going to introduce the interactions which are not in the orbitals, which are not particularly correlated at the Hartree level, level and the interactions that I expect to be very strongly correlated, which are the ones involving the AAP system at the MFT level, okay? So let me emphasize there are both intra and interorbital interaction in these um, AAP orbitals, okay? And then we are going to do um, CTQMC uh, DMFT. Okay, and I'm going to focus in the normal states, okay? So I'm going, this means that I'm going to make that these four orbitals are equivalent, okay? So I'm, I'm not going to allow them to be different. So the very first thing, this is ongoing work. Some of the results that I'm going to present are really, really uh, recent, okay? So there are many things that, so this is unfinished and there are many things that we still don't understand. Not necessarily because some of them are difficult, but just because we even didn't have time, okay? Uh, okay, so just to warm up, let me... Okay, let me start with, with an angle which is not terribly uh, narrow, okay? So this is 1.20, so uh, you see that here, okay, it's, it's, it's a few mill electron volts, but it's not so extremely narrow at the, at the, as the magic, uh, more magic angle. Uh, and so what I'm going to do to see what is the effect of this uh, mod correlations is I'm going to be comparing all the time the DMFT plus Hartree with the, with the pure Hartree calculations, okay? So this is uh, for a case in which we have doped with two uh, electrons and you can see uh, a bit the difference already uh, looking at them, the difference between the, uh, the two cases. And in particular, so the, uh, what we observe, uh, okay, okay, so I'm going to be here. So what we observe, how much time do I have? 
So, okay. uh, so what we observed, the first thing, so some of them is the kind of things that are kind of standard in mod systems. So the first thing that we, it's clear is that we, we have some part of the spectral weight have gone to Hubbard band. So, so we have, uh, this is clear in this incoherence that we have here. Um, we, we see some band shape, but somehow it's still the, the, the heart tree shape is, is, can be still uh, recognized from, um, from uh, in this DMFT plus heart tree calculations. Uh, you can see that here, the, uh, this dispersion here uh, has been reduced. So this is also something that, that we expected. So somehow what we are reducing here when we are doing this is we are reducing the hybridization between this, um, uh, between this AAP orbitals. And another thing is that we see uh, two other things. We see that this region, so here if I, I remind you that at gamma, we had uh, other orbitals, okay? So at gamma, uh, we didn't have these AAP orbitals. Uh, you can see that the system, it's, it's also somehow, there is also some finite uh, lifetime here, so it's not as sharp as, as it was. So somehow also these uh, itinerant orbitals are, um, um, are affected by the, um, um, by the scattering to the correlated orbitals. And some thing that we also observe is this where these remote bands that at the beginning we were not sure whether we ha it had to be included in the models or not, you can see that they are also modified, okay? Uh, so then somehow it's, it's clear that it's important to include them. Now, so this is a not very uh, narrow uh, uh, system, so a not very narrow bandwidth uh, system. And in fact, if we go to, okay, so, okay, well, later I will go. So, um, so if we now later, I will tell you if we go to the density of states, uh, so uh, this, you will see that, that the still the, the original density of states is quite, uh, uh, can be recognized. Okay, so this is another thing that more or less we expected is if now we are at different fillings, uh, so essentially what we see is more or less the same thing, but uh, okay, inverse. Okay, this is uh, doping with electrons, and then here this is more symmetric, which is the undoped system. And we see, as expected in other mode systems, that the uh, incoherent spectral weight has been transferred to um, uh, negative energies. Okay. Uh, okay. So, but as I was saying, so it's, if for example, we compare the density of strays in the heart tree and the DMFT, DMFT plus heart tree, so it's, there has been a, a clear change, but still, it's, 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 we can't recognize, well, this, um, this, this, this den the density of states that it was in the heart tree. So now I'm going to go to a narrower system, okay? So I'm going to go to 1.08. Here in this, for this case, the exact uh, magic angle, it will be like 1.12 uh, or something like that. You can see here that the bandwidth is very, very narrow, and in fact, if we look at the density of states, you mostly see a very uh, high peak at, the, uh, at, at very small energies. So now, if we now look at the, compare the density of states in this, uh, in the heart tree approximation and the um, DMFT plus heart tree, what you can see is really, this has really changed a lot, okay? You can see that, well, we clearly cannot recognize the, uh, the, the heart tree density of states, so the, the effect is, is really huge. And what you can, uh, of course, what you can see here is well, so this has been strongly suppressed, and we have this, this uh, so almost all the spectral weight is it's, it's incoherent and has gone to the Hubbard bands. You can see here I have put a case which is integer n equals zero. I will go now in more detail, and a case that it's, it's highly doped, okay? So this, it's, uh, but it's highly doped, but it's, it's also not, not an integer. Okay. Uh, but, but the fact you see it's, it's, it's in any case, it's, it's, it's very large. Uh, so one can see the effect uh, that, for example, also the interactions are doing. If we check, if we compare how is the uh, density versus chemical potential um, uh, curve, so in heart tree, it's essentially uh, linear. So if, if you look exactly here at, at, any, at uh, mu equals zero, you will find some, some, something very small associated to the direct point but it's, it's essentially linear, okay? So, and here we see steps at integer fillings. 
So what is telling us that we may be having um, insulators uh, at, at the integer filling, particularly we don't have um, anything at n equal minus three, okay? Uh, again, I don't want to say this is necessarily the exact, so this is going to probably depend, well, probably we have to check, uh, depend on, on, on the um, exact details on the bandwidth or the angle. Now, let me look at the integer fillings. And at the, uh, so for this uh, exact, uh, for this particular case, what we are finding is that we are having an insulator at n equal minus one. Okay, thanks. We are having an insulator at n equal minus one. Uh, uh, here at n equal minus two and uh, n equal zero. So uh, you see that there is uh, a small density of state at uh, zero frequency, okay? Now, uh, but if you, we look carefully, uh, the situation that we have find in two cases is not the same. So here at n equal minus two, it looks that, so well, here you almost don't see probably the, this is small, density of state, but somehow it looks that if we just increase slightly the interaction, the system is going to be a multi-insulator, okay? Now, but here at n equal, so in the ANDOP system, it's more interesting because what you see is that what we have here is very clearly, uh, it's very shut, and it's, in fact, what we are having here is that the, uh, the, or the, elect the, the electrons which are in the itinerant orbitals, they have gone to the, uh, uh, to the uh, chemical potential, okay? So it's, it's a different situation what we are having here. So here the, the, um, the AEP orbitals are gap, but we don't have an insulator because the other ones have um, uh, half a spectral weight. Uh, so uh, another question that we may ask, and, and in particular it was one of the questions I was asking myself from the very beginning, is whether this gap is going to uh, be suppressed, the gap between the, uh, the flat bands and the other bands. So the, 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 the reason to, to, for that is that this gap is associated to the hybridization between the, um, the uh, flat and the, uh, so between the correlated and the less correlated orbitals. And so this, this, uh, this, is, this has the tendency to be suppressed by, by mod physics and, and in particular in some approximations like a slave spin, this will vanish. Uh, what we see is that this really, is, so it's, it's modified, but uh, it's not uh, completely suppressed. So somehow you can see that the, the, the shape of the bands at n equal, so at, at this angle, so here this n equal minus two and equal two. Uh, so you see how it's, it's uh, somehow it's, it looks like a tendency to be suppressed, to be to ha having a, um, a, a shape like this when uh, there is a, a small, um, so when, when the system is up with holes and, and, and to be like this when the system is up with electrons, okay, so somehow it has a tendency, but you see that here this is still not really suppressed and in particular uh, in the insulating state that we have found an n equal minus one, so this, this uh, gap is not, uh, so it's still there, okay? So of course everything be has become very um, incoherent. Uh, so this is the type of uh, dope independent reorganization that we obtained for the spectral weight. Uh, so somehow if we look at the n equals zero, so to the uh, charm neutrality point, you can see that here we have so a kind of Hubbard bands that are a kind of two-peak Hubbard band. Now, uh, but now we, uh, so we see that how the, that these peaks and, and how this, this two-peak structure is changing when we are doping the system, and it's changing in a non-monotonic way. So in particular, uh, you can see that at the integer fillings, at minus one and minus two, so this, this peak here, it's, it's uh, around 10 mil electron volts or so, so it's, it's very prominent, and this other peak around 30 mil electron volts, it's, it's small, but uh, more at the integer fillings, so this has got uh, much more uh, weight. So somehow it's, it's, it's kind of uh, been associated, it seems that it's been associated to this um, integer filling, okay? So you see it's non-monotonic, so it, here it's, it's this peak, it goes, it goes to, uh, to, to in, uh, when we dope the system to, towards the metallic state, it goes to this 30 mil electron peak here again, so here we have the quasi-particle, and then, uh, so here it goes again, 
nomatonically to the, um, to the 10 million electron volts and again here. You can see how this, this looks when we look at the band. Uh, so this is kind of a 30 million electron volt peak and here we, we are at the integer so there's a much stronger peak here that somehow it looks like hybridized probably with the remnant of the quasi-particle. Uh, and the final result that we have seen is that in some cases uh, we have found that even the, the remote band has been the one that has entered at the chemical potential. Okay, so somehow this, this looks like that, well, so uh, it's clear that uh, so mod physics is important in this state. We do expect a very a strong and very complex uh, reorganization of all the spectral weight uh, as we dope the system uh, that we are still uh, trying to, um, to, to understand and to, and to uh, characterize. And in particular, so some results is we find that, that is, we can find insulators without suppressing this gap. And that, uh, of course, when studying the symmetry, uh, so any, any symmetry breaking in this state, all this reorganization will have to be taken into account. Okay, so thank you. Thank you very much, Heini. And questions? Complicated? <laughs> Sorry? We are going with that. So we have studied, we have studied that. So you say experimentally or theoretically? So, so we are, we are uh, for that. Uh, experimentally, there are still not yet experiments. We, we have studied optical conductivity in, a, in a states, mean field states with broken symmetries, but with that, so we don't have it yet. Yeah. Yes, my first question is, uh, at n equal minus 2, do you think we have a real gap or not? It was not clear, because if uh, one looks at the, at the steps, it, one will say yes, but... Uh, it's not yet. I think that if I incre increase slightly more the interaction, uh, so it will be an insulator, but it's, it's not yet an insulator. But it will be, it, I think it will be, it, it's, it's about to be an insulator. And the second thing is R3 Fock uh, DMFT, how much is it different from the uh, DFT plus DMFT? Valber, for example, is doing. Uh, so you are DMFT. doing Hartree Fock plus DMFT? Ah, uh, ah, GW. Okay. So okay, let's say. So this is we. Um, okay. So we are doing Hartree, something like kind of the simplest approximation. Already Hartree Fock. You are. We have started with the with the Hartree Fock, but I am still not sure whether we will introduced to that, we will finally do, it, do this because, um, so there is a story here with the double countings. And in particular, so for the heart rate, there are different, so different groups are using different conventions for starting the double counting that you do already in the heart rate or in the heart rate fog, not just when you combine things. Uh, so at the heart rate, um, so generically the fact is, well, so you can more or less rationalize uh, what people is doing and, uh, well, there have been three different conventions. At the beginning, we used one, and now there are another two that we think that are the best, the, the, the nominal, sorry? The nominal. What do you mean, the nominal? The U over two, N minus one. No, no, so, okay, so let's say, is that, um, so uh, what people is doing here in, in, um, in the twist by layer, uh, so the, the, what you subtract, and this is not just for the Hubbard, but for all the interactions. It's, um, so let's say it's close to, the question is whether you have to subtract the interactions that you will have at the charge neutrality point, or whether you have to subtract the, um, the interaction that, or the, so let's say the, the correlation that you will have in two isolated ground field layers. Uh, so because the tie binding parameters, in fact, is, so this comes from a tie binding that you do put in the continuum model and you do your organization. And also uh, there was a third one in which, um, so you do something like similar to subtracting a uniform um, uh, effect, but you change that with doping. So the, the one subtracting at the chemical, at the charge neutrality point and, and the one subtracting uniform, I think there are similar, so it changes slightly the effect, so I think that uh, at the level of the approximation, so it's, it's okay. So this is the kind of thing that we are doing now. But at the FOC level, that's more complicated because there is, 
for example, there are, uh, if you consider what Paco Guinea and what Tyler McDonald are doing, they are doing completely different things. Uh, also in the heart tree, but this is what I said, the heart tree is similar. So for example, um, uh, Alan, he's subtracting, again for the fog, what it will be in uniform uh, layers. However, uh, Paco agree, um, says that to do that is, is to subtract an infinite contribution and that this is not uh, expected to be in, in, in real life because in already in graphene this is not there. And, and so he's subtracting the contribution just that you will have just below the flat bands. So I, the fact that you have, in, depending on which of the, um, uh, of the uh, double counties that you do, is very different. And the fact that you have for, for the fog, and so somehow, um, so I feel that the results can depend more on the convention that I use than on the uh, real thing that I want to discuss. This is one of the stories. The other part is that Hartree Fock, really, the Fock, really want to break the symmetry a lot. So somehow, it's, it, you really have to be very, uh, so, so impose it very well not to break that. So um, we have done, some, well, we have done some check so far at the Hartree Fock on one side or at the Hartree plus the MFT on the other side. But in principle, if we want to do that, if we decide on what to do with the Fock at the normal level, for us, it will be similar. With respect to the GW, I have no idea. Mm. I have never done a GW. <laughs> so you want that to work? <laughs> so it is uh, very nice that you're already getting uh, mod gaps and similar to experiments, <laughs> but there is some controversy whether the physics is mod or not in general in the community. So are you planning to do some more uh, comparisons or is there something key okay, that you so, think? Okay, so somehow, I, so it's, yeah, we are continuing working. So this, this, you know that we have had some time to <laughs> implement this and to, to obtain the, uh, the result. Now this is the beginning. We are going to do everything. In fact, is what I say, we are with the, uh, with the um, uh, optical conductivity, but also other properties, that thermal and things like that. And uh, so I think that from now on, people is starting to be more in the fact that mod physics it will be more important. So at the beginning, I had the impression that it's, it's more the fact that the community is different. And so they were more thinking on just how to fuck it gives everything I, or, or RPA or whatever. So I think that, that um, so we are going to see, and it's time there are more experiments giving unconventional behavior in, in system, not only in TVG, but also in others. So, uh, so I think that, that we are going to, to, so well, we are going to continue and, and I think that the experiments are, are, are going to give a lot of things, I'm pretty sure. Um, more questions? If not, let's thank Lenny again. Thank you.